right, boys and girls, today we're going to continue talking about um, numbers to 120. And what you can do is go ahead and get out your math paper for today, for Monday. Um, it's Explore Together, okay? And it's the 120s chart. If you will get that out, then we can kind of work together on this. All right, what I want you to do is I want everybody to look at our first column right here on our um, 120s chart. And I want us to look at the column. And I want us to count one. Let's count together and you point to it. 11, 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, 71, 81, 91, 101, 111. I want you to look at this, and I want you to look to see um, what is different about each number, and what is the same about each number as we go down. If we look, what do we notice stays the same? You know what? I see a one all the way down. And that is in my ones place. So my one stays the same. But when I go down, I go from one ten to how many tens? Two tens to three tens to four tens. And we talked about that before Christmas, that if we look down on our counting chart, we're counting by tens. And if we look down, we can see that we're counting by tens. On, our, on this column here. But let's take a look at the third row. Let's look at the row. This is a row. If we look across on our row, we see, let's count together. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Let's look to see what's the same and different on this. Hmm, what do you see every time that's the same? You see almost every number on this row begins with a 2. But look in our 1's place. Do you notice your 1's are changing? Look, 21, 2, 3. Hey, just like up there, we're going, we're counting by 1's. So when we count down, we're counting by tens. When we count across, we're counting by ones. Now, I want you to take, and let me get my, my chart moved over to the next screen. All right. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to take a look, and you're going to use a blue crayon, or if you don't have a blue, just a color, and you're going to color those numbers that have two ones. Now, if you don't have a blue and you have a, red, a, a green or a yellow, you can do that. And then, over here it says use red. If you don't have red, just pick a color different from the first one you did and color those numbers that have three tens. And we're going to look for a pattern. So Miss Williams is going to work with you. Okay? So if you will get your crayon, if you need to stop this and pause it to go get your crayons, that's fine. You can do that. But you need two different colors. If you've got a red, a blue and a red, that would be fine. But you need two colors, and you can pause it if you need to. But I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to do this with you. Let Miss Williams get her tools here. Okay, guys. It tells me to use blue and color the numbers that have two ones. So I'm going to get my blue. And I'm going to color the numbers that have two ones. Now, guys, I have to go and I say, hmm, there's two ones. And you know what? I go down 
And I see, hmm, there's two ones. There's another one. And I don't know if you're starting to see a pattern. Two ones. There's two ones. There's two ones. Two ones. Two ones. Two ones. Okay, do you see how we did that? Look, and when we went down, there's two. Our ones did not change going down, did it? What did we count by? What changed? You're right, our tens changed. All right, it tells us to use red and circle the numbers that have three tens. Hmm, three tens. So I've got to find my ten, my number. Well, I see one, I know 31 has three tens. Look, I'm gonna, here's another number, three tenths. And instead of circling, I'm just gonna color over mine. Hey, this one has three tenths, three tenths. My tens is not changing, is it? Hmm, I can see on this row though, it looks like my ones is changing, isn't it? My ones are changing. Now, when I look at this, I see that I have counted, when I did my two ones, I counted, and watch what happens when I count down. Two, 12, 22, 32, 42, count with me, 52, 62, 72, 82, 92, 102, 112. What did I count by when I went down? I counted by tens, didn't I? And then look, when I go across, I went to 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, count with me, 37, 38, 39, 40. What did we count by going across? You're right, we counted by ones. So guys, every time we count across on our um, counting chart, we're counting by, anybody know what we're counting by? We're counting by ones. When we count down, and this is the easy way we do every day, start at 10, 20, 30, but we can count by tens we've learned from six, six, 16, 26, 36, 46. Do you see how I can count by tens um, just by going down? Now, guys, um, also, when sometimes when we're counting, um, we, we need to always be careful to make sure we're looking at our tens and our ones, okay? So we know that if I say count by tens, do 10 more, you're gonna go down, aren't you? Now we also learned that we can do 10 less. If I'm at 24, 10 less than 24 is 14. 10 more than 24 is 34. And we, we did this right before Christmas, but I was wanting to review with you just so that to get you thinking about your tens and ones and counting by tens and learning 10 more, 10 less, because we're fixing to um, do some more adding where we're gonna add, add, we're gonna actually add our tens. So we're going, so it's going to be, so you need to understand this, all right. Now, what I want you to do um, right now is, you've completed this paper. You have your, and let me turn my light on so that you can see. You have your, you have your um, lesson nine boomer adding. I want you to do both sides of this. 
And then I want you to log on to I Ready Math and do about 10 to 15 minutes of that. All right.